so thank you, Tom, for allowing me to visit your studio. Um, we're here in yep. 52 O Street. Exactly. 52 um, O. Welcome to my studio. I'm Tom Bunnell. Thanks for coming by. Uh, it's always nice to have visitors here on a hot sun summer day. That's right. So, well, Tom, can you tell us about um, first of all your work? I've known yeah. you for so many years. Yes, many and many years. You uh, actually had some work that I brought to Berlin for the flat. That's right. Hall. Yes. And um, now you're. I feel like your work uh, has like really become more layered. Yeah. There's yeah. more like smaller marks. Right. Yeah, I think a lot of things that, from those drawings you took to. Berlin sort of carry through, but I think now the scale of the work has gotten larger. Um, I've had the opportunity to work in a larger format with these larger canvases. And then, um, you know, as you go along in your life as a painter or artist, you have a tendency to change things. Um, but some of the ideas of patterning and then sort of uh, things changing and morphing over each other and it's one shape obscuring another, that idea still kind of continues and the layers and layers of paint. How do you find your references? Like your... Well, I usually start with like a natural form or a natural observed pattern. You know, it could be anything from like water kind of rippling or it could be some sort of shape, leaf shape or um, even some stuff that I've seen on kind of textile designs lately. Uh, yeah. You know, um, what's the word for that? Yeah. Textile. Oh, like the motifs. Yeah, motifs like from right. a lot of like um, early kind of medieval shapes will kind of recently kind of crept in yeah but just in, I'll take a drawing and then that'll sort of translate into a into a painting and then that sort of billows out if the space is big enough like in the larger paintings that becomes like a thing that repeats itself um, or and then another shape will kind of come in at this uh, at a different interval during yeah. the painting process I really love how you're combining a lot of the um, geometry with a lot of like more delicate yeah. patterning yeah, that, yeah, um, yeah. Is that yeah? I just, well, it's something I try to keep going. I keep it going as much as I can. Um, we can walk. Usually, one one thing will happen where it's sort of one thing will sort of take over the sort of the meaning of the painting or the the real gist of it. But I'll start with you know a basic idea, almost like a pattern, and then something. I'll try to disrupt that with another idea of another pattern or another shape. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a, I don't start with a preconceived notion of the painting, of what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. And that's probably, <laughs> probably want to work on them. No. No, I, I think mean, that's I think a good I, thing. I like the drama, uh, but I think that sometimes, you know, you, you have to roll the dice and you lose something that you like and vice versa. So, yeah, no, I mean, for um, me, like a lot of these remind me too of some of Louise Bourgeois' drawings. Oh, yeah. Who I that's adore. Interesting. Um, well, yeah. like this one too. So there's yeah. some, you know, they're kind of psychological. Yeah, I realized that when I put this, I think the smaller ones especially have a little bit more of a drawing feel. Yeah. And, and there's the one thing about them, and I think that is more psychologically a little bit more charged mm. and the smaller framework. Yeah, the scale. ones that are less symmetrical, like this yeah. one is definitely yeah. more symmetrical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that are kind of more yeah. um, like off center do, yeah. for me, are, are a little bit more psychological yeah I would agree with you yeah and here are your drawings um, yeah drawings always been a big part of my I think I draw yeah. I go to drawing first mm -hmm. I did these drawings over the first kind of wave of COVID I, I whatever I guess it's been two years now yeah but they were I kind of related to the idea of reversing the, the black and white idea and coming up with thinking about something that felt literally like space or like some sort of ulterior um world mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. way I kind of felt like it was I don't know it felt very relaxed I'm not relaxing but like <laughs> I was getting out of my head a little bit and letting yeah. you know the minute like the monotony of just making patch marks over and over again that felt sort of soothing at the time sure and I'd like to try to come back to these I haven't worked on these style and, of drawings yeah now. are these um chalk it's chalk and, pencil. and graphite on black yeah paper. i can see yeah, that yeah. Like, it's a colored yeah. white pencil right there's a specific german kind of white pencil that makes it has the best but they they go really quickly right <laughs> so right. it was like i spent a fortune on it. oh but, yeah. Wow. yeah 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 so then i experimented with like collaging different oh that's collaged i would yeah. not have known that if i know lift right? it up i know do that again so oh, yeah that's cool show the people i love it show yeah. the people <laughs> so i had fun with that like that kind of basic mandela shape mm -hmm, and then re mm -hmm. kind of reinterpreting it and that was an interesting process yeah um i feel like these would lend themselves well to almost like a printmaking process but definitely you should work so many hours in the day exactly 
<laughs> so <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, was, thank you. This is great. Yeah, it's I mean, been really nice. To have you have a really cool studio here thank at 52. Thank you. Yes, I'm and super then, lucky. Um, we're just going to pan over. I yeah. have an assistant over there yeah. and um, busy on her phone. Mm -hmm. But your work is very prolific. Yes. And I think you're ready for a show, Me man. Me too. I would agree with you there. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, well, any other you. last words you no, want to share? I just appreciate share? you coming by. It's always nice to have company. Uh, and, well, yeah. you're one of my favorite artists oh, here in Washington. You. And um, it's always amazing to see what you're posting on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So everybody follow Tom. <laughs> well, yeah. What's Electric your, Zither, which is really... What, what is that? Yeah. I, I mean, know. how just, does that relate to... two this? words came together, I'm like, all right, that's going to be it. Because I messed up my original Tom Bonnell Instagram. Like, I locked myself oh. out of it. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way back. But... Sorry. <laughs> so, okay, electric, zip, electric zither. zither Instagram. It's a kind yeah. of a tongue twister. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's not hang really, on. It doesn't roll. Thank you, Tom. And thank you. Thank you.